Pops, let's do a quick history lesson. The four. Yes. Count them. One, two, three. Can you hit me with a four? Four. Worst recalls in automotive history are going to run us through them. What did you come up with? Well, I don't know that they're necessarily the worst in automotive history, but they're the worst that I can think of in my time in, in history. And this is a bit precipitated by, just to be clear, the yeah. recent Hyundai Kia 5.6 to 6 million vehicles being recalled Nothing. for yeah. fires. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's what gave us the idea to do yeah. this. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Pops. Okay. GM, they had an ignition switch problem. Okay, and I, I believe this recall happened in 2014 or 2015. And the engineers knew that these ignition switches were faulty. Okay. And that there were issues with them. And it wasn't like they knew for like one or two years. They knew from 2003. <laughs> okay. And, and the problem with the ignition switch is the cars could suddenly shut off. You could be driving. And the car would just shut off because of the faulty ignition, ignition switch. Now, when that happened, that also meant that the uh, airbags wouldn't work if you happened wow. to get into an accident after your car suddenly stopped running while you were, I don't know, on the highway at 65 miles an hour and it shut off. Wow. So they had to recall a bunch of products. It only cost GM $2.5 billion wow. for that recall. $2.5 billion uh, for something that they had known about for 11 years and did nothing about. So hearing you say that, I promise I will bring this back into perspective. Yeah. Um, hearing you say that yes. makes me think we talk a lot on this show about all these upstart like electric car companies. Yes. One recall could put them out of business. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a wee little bit. Yeah. And that, that recall occurred in Mary Barr's first year as CEO. Well, now it wasn't her fault. No, of she course, wasn't. Yeah. She wasn't the CEO from two thousand three to two thousand fourteen yeah, yeah. or whatever it was. But there was an eleven year span where the engineers knew we bailed and out the that company, company and the company covered it up because they didn't want to invest the money to well correct it. Thinking about getting an extended warranty? Go to joinyaa.com and check out our pricing there. There's no obligation, no spam, no robocalls. YAA for your extended warranty. All right, what's number two on your number list? Number two, Ford. Ford had an automatic transmission problem, okay? And the problem was, and this was in the uh, in the 70s and 80s. Okay. And the problem was that, that if you put it in park, it wouldn't necessarily always just stay in park, <laughs> okay? It would sometimes slip out of park while the car was still running when you were putting it in park. It would sometimes slip out of park and, well, it would... It would slip into reverse and the car wow. would suddenly start backing up now it, it wasn't much of an issue there were only uh, a little over six thousand accidents because of <gasps> it resulting in that's a lot yeah resulting in 98 face fatalities and it only impacted 23 million vehicles 23 million vehicles okay um i i don't i don't know what the cost was a lot. But I can assure you it was more than a dollar a vehicle. Wow. Um, this was another situation where they had known about it, but they chose not to do anything about it. Number two on the list. Three. That, that was three. That was two. Oh, yeah, number three on the <laughs> list. Well, I'm going backwards. Number three on the list was Toyota's gas pedal issue. Oh. Okay. Where, where this was they, recent. Wasn't this like this, five, this, ten years ago? This, this, 10 or 12 or 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Where, where what, what would happen is the design of the gas pedal and the floor mats would get scrunched up and it would keep the gas pedal depressed so that you'd be hitting the gas pedal, but nothing's happening because the scrunched up carpeted floor mats are preventing the pedal from coming back off of giving it gas. So it would just be stuck accelerating. It, it would be stuck accelerating. Uh, so first they blamed it on the floor mats, and it was, well, let's replace the floor mats. It wasn't the floor mat issue. It was the design of the gas pedal issue that allowed the floor mats to get in there and cause that situation. So ultimately, they had to replace gas pedals along with the floor mats. It affected over 9 million vehicles, and I believe it cost them $1.2 billion. Wow. And this is one of, one of the world's premier brands, they took like a 16% hit to sales after this occurred. 
Wow. Now they've they've since come back. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Okay. Okay. Number one on your list. Number one on the list, and it's probably still ongoing. The Takata airbag situation. Not surprised, yeah. Um, and the reason, in my opinion, it's the worst is because it impacts so many different brands and so many millions of vehicles. And it's it's still ongoing trying to replace these bad airbags because there's just so many millions and millions and millions of airbags that are bad or could be bad that need to be replaced. Yeah. And that's the type of thing that even though there's a recall, it's not like it can be done in a day. You know, suddenly you have to come up with 20-some million new airbags while they're still producing new cars. So these are additional airbags that need to be produced. So there are still millions of people driving around in cars today that have these bad Takata airbags. Uh, there were dealerships that were impacted because they had new cars that had stopped sales on them from the manufacturers because they had the Takata airbags and they couldn't sell them until the replacement airbags came in. So in my mind, that was probably the worst recall of all time. You know, an interesting theme in each of these recalls, Dad. Yeah. All mechanical. Like none of these are going to be solved by software updates. Oh, no. You know, and it's interesting because we're at this period of transition where we're seeing a lot of recalls frequently. Yes. But a lot of them are, okay, it's a software update. These mechanical recalls, it puts into perspective how dangerous it is every time you step into a car. But, I mean, Absolutely how dangerous it is. And the other thing, so many of these problems were known by the manufacturers, and they chose to do nothing about it. Kind of reminds me when you were mentioning it, like the Dieselgate stuff with Volkswagen. Mm-hmm. Known, but let's Oh, absolutely, it yeah. It makes you wonder how much of that is ongoing today. I'm sure plenty. You know, it, it's, it's like in football, they say if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Everybody holds on every offensive play. But they don't call holding on everybody. It's kind of like um, in the state of Florida. There's We call out dealers all the time because everyone charges crazy fees. Yes. Earl Stewart, though. Earl Stewart yeah. doesn't. Shout out to Earl Stewart. Yes. Um, but it's like it's just what everyone does. So it's what we have to do. It's terrible that these precedents are set because people lose their lives. Well, and the other thing is, is that on a corporate level, nobody pays for it. I mean, nobody, nobody goes to prison, nobody's you know, prosecuted, nobody typically loses a job. Even with the Dieselgate stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's interesting, this is a total tangent, so we'll not be offended if when we check the analytics for this video, if everyone signs off at this point, but I recently watched the um, Theranos documentary. Yes. Uh, the, the Hulu series, yeah. um, Dropout, the Dropout. Yes. And obviously Elizabeth Holmes and her business partner and romantic partner, mm -hmm. Sonny Balwani, like they're, they got charged by the SEC for fraud and yeah. she could face up to 20 years in prison. Yeah. They're actually going to trial this year right yeah. now, honestly. Like that's a perfect example of what should happen. It shouldn't just be fines. No. It should be, hey, if you're going to put people's lives in danger and you're going to do that recklessly – you personally can be held accountable to that. And what's interesting is when you set up a corporation, if you're the president of the board or if you're on the board, that's like that's made very clear to you early on. That's why there's directors and officers insurance and things like that. But yes, time and time again, this just feels like it's a cost of doing business. And these recalls are a scary reminder that most of us end up being safe. We yes. hop in, we hop out, we're okay. Yeah. But these are things that we need to be wary well, you, of. You can't convince the 98 people that no, were, or their that families. Were, yes, or, yeah. uh, in that in that auto transmission recall with Ford, you'll never convince them of that. No. So, it, it's the uncaring of a cold-hearted corporation that just turns their back on things that they know are wrong. And it went on for years in the automobile industry. It still does. It went on for years in the tobacco industry, where they knew that. I'm sure it's in every industry. So then. it's. It's unfortunate. Let us know in the comments below which uh, which recalls did we miss that you think deserve to be on yeah. the list. Thanks for pulling this together, Pops. You're really welcome, honey. It.